Hi, welcome to Importing Items and Inventory. By tracking your inventory in Working Point, you'll have the real-time information you need to make the best buying decisions for your business. Working Point will help you track your current on-hand quantities of your items so you will know exactly what you have to sell and what you need to reorder, the average cost of your items, and the cost of goods sold, what it costs you to sell your items. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to import your items and inventory into Working Point. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to my items list and click Import Items. Built on Help provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to import items and inventory, as well as how to review the import and a guide to troubleshooting. Refer to these if you need additional information. I'll close it for now. More help is below. If I scroll down, I can see which columns are in the template and any requirements or restrictions. The first step is downloading the template. I'll click the button and save the file to my desktop. Now I can fill out the template. As you can see, the template includes a header in the top row. Don't mess with this. It is required to be exactly as it appears upon opening for the import to work. From my previous system, I was able to run an items list report. This report has everything I need to bring over item and inventory information into my Working Point account. If your previous system doesn't provide you with this type of report, that's okay. I'll show you the type of information that you will want to gather before importing your items and in inventory. The first column is the item ID or name. This is how we refer to the item when we look it up on the items list and on invoices. The next column is the item description. It provides more detail about the item and shows on invoices. The next column is the sales tax column. I need to know whether the item is taxable or not. Next is the account column. This is the account that I will use to track the revenue generated from the sales of this item. To import the item, this account must be in my working point accounts list prior to import. Next is the on hand column or quantity available in working point. This tells me exactly how many units of this item I have on hand and will serve as a starting quantity for the item. Next is cost per unit. I need to know the average cost of the items I am bringing into Working Point. From this basis, Working Point will calculate the average cost of the item going forward. And finally, price per unit. This is how much I charge my customers for one unit of the item. The orange outline section includes items I don't need in Working Point, like sales tax items and discount items, and a subtotal item, since Working Point handles all that for me now. I am just going to bring over the items I use on invoices and track inventory for. With my data handy, I'm ready to fill in my template. So going back to the template, I will simply copy and paste the information from my items list detail to my template. Earlier, I made sure that the accounts I used in my previous system for collecting revenue were the same in Working Point, so I can leave those accounts as is. My previous system's item list did not support units, so I need to enter those manually. Also, my previous system had a different way of stating whether an item was taxable or not. Remembering the format required from the import page help, I can manually change that too. The import requires that the template be in a CSV format. Even though I've opened it using Microsoft Excel, it has maintained its format. All I need to do is click Save. A prompt makes sure this is the format I want, and it is, so I can click Yes. OK, the template is done. Now I can upload it. Back in Working Point, I move to Step 2, Upload the Template. I can click Browse, Locate the file, and click Open. Step 3 is optional, but necessary for me since I am uploading items with inventory. An inventory adjustment transaction is recorded on the date I specify here, so I need to make sure that I choose my ending date from my previous system. This is also the date I ran the items list report on. I also need to choose the account I want to track the adjustment in. Since I am transferring the inventory over as part of an account setup, I will choose Opening Balance Equity, but you can choose any account you want. I can even enter a memo if I want. The final step is clicking Import Items. After processing a minute or two, my import is complete, and the import confirmation is displayed. 
the confirmation displays how many items were imported and if any items contained errors and were not imported. If your import has errors, check out the troubleshooting topic link on the import page on how to resolve any issues. To check out the items list, click go to your items list or the quantity imported link. Here, I can see all the items I imported along with the quantity and average cost. Clicking an item link takes me to the item detail page where I can see the basic item information, the inventory details, including current quantity available and average cost, the item activity, and I have links to add or reduce the inventory level. And that's it. That's how easy it is to import items in inventory. Follow these four easy steps to import your items and get started tracking your inventory today. For more information on how to import your items into Working Point, visit our online help center Click Help in the upper right-hand corner of your account.